all right guys welcome back to my channel guys chef carlton here asking you to please go ahead hit that subscribe button today i'm going to do some curry shrimp or some people call them prawns i don't know why but um where i'm from we call it shrimp prawns are a bit different um we're going to be doing that some curry you know of course i'm on my own curry powder salt and pepper carrots potatoes all my veg i gotta get cleaned and cut and some hot pepper and thyme so without further ado guys let's get right into this one all right guys so i got everything cut up and if you notice i cut them up in strips or julienne that way they cook they cook much quicker and then the, the same consistency of the texture of the potato the carrot the peppers onion tomatoes all right so let's go ahead and season our shrimp and we're going to get cooking all right guys so we're going to start with adding our shrimp Add a little bit of our salt and pepper, not all of it. Some of our curry powder, not all of it. Pinch of allspice. Some ginger. Alright, now I'm just going to go ahead and fold it in. Use your hands. I do curry, I try not to use my hands. I'm trying to get my finger all yellow. Got a glove, that's fun also. But this one not much see and we're just gonna cover this and set this aside uh, in the fridge for like 30 minutes while we get ready all right all right so this is everything all the veggies i'm going to be using i'm gonna the potatoes separate because i'm going to cook those first then when this is halfway cooked we're going to go ahead and add everything else all right let's get into it all right we're going to start by adding some oil I'm just going to go ahead and let that get hot. All right, that seems to be hot enough. We're going to add our potatoes. And I'm going to add a bit of the curry powder. This is how I do my curry, guys. I like to get some of the curry in the oil so we can burn some of the curry while we're sauteing or cooking down the veggies. And then when these are almost there, or you know, start the cooking process. I'll go ahead and add these also, but not yet, not quite yet. Let me give you guys a bird idea. All right, guys, and to test if these are almost cooked, you can just go ahead, break them with a spoon. Okay, see how easy that one breaks, so I mean it's close. Go ahead and add the rest of your veggies. That's simple guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and cook these down. Add a little bit of stock or water, then add a little shrimp. So that's simmer for five minutes and you're ready guys. This is one of the quickest, easy and more space to cover dishes that you could find than curry shrimp. I'm pretty sure in the comments some of you guys are gonna say it's not shrimp, chef it's prawn. Alright, let me know in the comments what you guys call these. Alright, so now we're at this texture where everything is almost ready and cooked. Then we're going to add a little prawns, a shrimp, and then what I do is I cover these like that, get them on the hot surface, then we're going to add from the very same bowl that we use, right? We're going to go and add some water to this, rinse this around, get all that seasoning out, and then add it to what we're cooking. Add like a cup of water to this guys. Just gonna go ahead and give it a quick get all that seasoning out, all the curry out. And I'm just gonna add that. Go ahead and give it a quick mix. Could add some more salt and pepper. Remember, we had saved back some of our salt and pepper. Feel free to go ahead and add that. If you think you need more curry powder, feel free to go ahead and add more, but I don't think we do. I think we got enough curry right here. We're just going to let this boil. We can cover this. Let this boil for five minutes. We'll come back with some nice cooked curry prawns. You could add coconut milk, guys. You could add other flavors. Like you, if you notice, I didn't add any garlic. You could definitely add garlic. But um, I'm just making this recipe. as I'm um, showing you guys another way to do it, guys. There's multiple ways to do stuff like this especially anything with curry there's like a million and one curry recipes out there but 
This is how I make my curry shrimp, guys. It's gonna be tasty and spicy. You see, I got a scotch bunny pepper cut up in there. I'm definitely gonna be adding more while I'm going, while I'm eating and stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, stick around to the end to see the finished product. But once you're here, it's just the waiting game now, guys. Oh no. Alright, welcome back guys. I see you guys have stuck around and I've waited and it paid off guys. Look. Nice. Look at that color. Look at that gravy. Nice color of shrimp. All your bridges are cooked to perfection. Your shrimp is not overcooked. And this is why I didn't add the shrimp first, guys. A lot of the time when you get curry shrimp, and people add the shrimp to the hot pan first, it seared the shrimp. And what I do is cook the shrimp first, and then when you try to create a stew with all these veggies, the shrimp just get hard. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. But again, please hit that subscribe button. I know you will.